Fire has been with mankind from the earliest days. In order to survive, ancient man had to constantly keep the fire burning. This genetic memory is preserved in all of us. Why else would we find fire so fascinating? If you try it once, you'll have a hard time giving it up. Even sitting at home and drinking tea, I feel the need to play with my poi. So I will spin the fire poi, then sit back in the chair and continue doing my own things. As fire dancers will tell you, working with fire isn't a hobby or a sport, it's a philosophy, a lifestyle. You'll now visit an exciting event that brings together fire performers from all over Ukraine, the Kiev Fire Festival. This is going to be the ninth festival. Last year, we missed the event. This year, we have many foreign guests coming from the United States, France, Greece, Lithuania, Belarus. Firefest has attracted many admirers, and its number of participants has significantly increased over the eight years of its existence. You can see teams from all over the world on its stages, each trying to give an outstanding performance. We just came from Greece. Yeah, my name is Deva, and this is Ina. She's playing the electric cello, and I'm a fire performer. So our performance is like uh, we combine both arts while she's playing live Music, I'm performing, I'm dancing, do my choreography with the fire. New Zealand is considered to be the homeland of fire shows. Since ancient times, Polynesians have used a cloth-wrapped stone on a string called a poi, while the cloth is lit on fire. This art eventually became more and more elaborate. In modern shows, there are many more tools that are used. The main tools are poise and batons, followed by fans. Poise are usually used in sets of two, but sometimes three or four. Batons vary a lot. Usually used in sets of two, they are now being juggled three, four, and even five at a time. The most interesting tool is the dragon staff. It is swung around the body. The first tools used by Andre were the poise. He was a 17-year-old who wasn't afraid of being burnt. He wanted to master this art, whatever the challenges may have been. From the moment I saw my friend's fire dancing, I became entranced. My friend taught me how to do it in exchange for teaching him the guitar. It took Andre four years to learn and join the Andalita Fire Theater. He's now very proud of his performances. We have been working for six years. Sometimes members of our team leave, but we invite new ones. We're constantly developing programs, adding new elements. We experiment not only with the fire elements, but also mix in other related arts. Serhei Zilin, the founder and curator of the team, has united 20 young, talented, and hardworking people to stage fire shows. I'm responsible for the general conception of the show. There's also a person who is in charge of choreography. As far as I'm concerned, I deal with the poi shows. There's also a different person who is responsible for more of the special effects.
Throughout the years of its existence, the team has gained a great reputation. It is now not only well known in Ukraine, but abroad as well. We have toured abroad, putting on a series of performances. Our first trip was to Turkey. After that, we have performed twice in the UAE, where we joined up with the Global Village Festival, representing different shows from around the world. In India, we went to a science and technology festival in Mumbai. We perform at home and abroad. Thanks to income we have received from our fire performances, we can improve our skills and develop ourselves. Participants stage unique shows which combine sophisticated dance performances with visual effects, pyrotechnics, lights and fireworks. There are several show programs composed of fire and light. In my favorite program, they combine many different special effects and tools. The team is growing and improving every year. They refine old programs and create new ones. We do a light show where we use LEDs. The LEDs are synced up with music and we use them to make pictures. Kiev Fire Theater is the most well-known fire theater in Ukraine. This year we are celebrating our 10th anniversary. Due to this festive occasion, we intend to organize a big party and call in fire dancers from all around Kiev. You will just celebrate and relax. Several years of hard work have put the fire theater up there with the best theaters in Ukraine. It only takes five people to create bright, amazing, unforgettable stories. We are multitaskers. We use many tools. Maybe we are weird. On our team, every person should be able to work with at least four different tools. This is what makes us stand out from the other teams. During 10 years of work, the participants have created various programs and have presented them across the world. We have the Big City Light Show that is extremely popular and helped us take the first place prize at a fire festival in Russia. For now, Ukraine does not have any specialized institutions to teach this unique art. However, the youth do not give up in despair. Those who've managed to learn this art by themselves are eagerly teaching others. I searched for any useful information on the internet. I attended the workshops, read many articles, talked to so many people. I've been using every means of getting knowledge so I can systematize it and use it to teach others. Yori is the curator and founder of the Soul Fire Fire School in Kiev. He's been teaching programs for young fire performers for more than three years. Our students study in three different directions, poise, fire fans, and the LED stuff. There is a teacher for every specialization. Fire performers are playing with red flames in their hands. Music, fire, dancing, merge all together. The popularity of fire theater is increasing with every passing year. The young, talented, and promising actors enjoy every second of it. They are improving their skills and are taking in everyone willing to learn their art.